J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. The Jets are one of the most hyped teams in this upcoming 2019 season. They have a young up-and-coming quarterback, Sam Darnold. They have the biggest free agent score, probably the second biggest free agent score, actually, of the season in Le'Veon Bell. And they have good expectations to finally, finally succeed in year three of the rebuild. Will it happen? And, oh yeah, Adam Gase is our new head coach, which, if you've looked at pictures of Adam Gase, he looks really terrifying. Anyway, on with the season predictions. The New York Jets opened the year at home against the Buffalo Bills. Last year they won in Buffalo, but lost at home to the Bills. This year I say it's going to be the opposite. They're going to take down the Bills to start the season. Odell Beckham Jr. comes into town, his first game back at the Meadowlands since leaving the Giants. No, this isn't really a revenge game because, you know, he didn't play for the Jets. But regardless, the Browns take down the Jets on Monday Night Football. The Jets head into Foxborough to take on the Patriots, and they're going to fall to Tom Brady once again. So the Jets are 1-2 and two by this point and heading into a very, very early bye week. This brutal schedule continues in Week 5 as they take on the Eagles, and they fall to the Eagles to fall to 1-3. and three. The Cowboys come into town, and all the prognosticators will call for the Cowboys to win this game. Yet, I have the Jets winning this game to improve the 2-3. and three. The Patriots, the Jets, Monday Night Football, the Patriots once again will find a way to win. The Jets by this point are 2-4 and four and things are looking bleak. They head into Jacksonville for the first of two straight games in Florida. The Jaguars barely eke one out over the Jets. The Jets head into Miami the following week and they get revenge for last year's season sweep, taking down the Dolphins. The Giants come into town for a battle of the Meadowlands. The Giants and the Jets, Jets take this one. Jets continue their uh, winning ways as they somehow find a way to beat the Redskins on the road. So by this point, the Jets are 5-5 five and five and actually winning football games. The Raiders come into town, and the Jets are now over 500 with a win over the Raiders. Well, this is where things go bad. They lose a game they shouldn't lose to the Bengals because that's what the Jets do. They barely eke out the Miami Dolphins to give their fans some more hope. And then they end the year with losses to the Ravens, losses to the Steelers, and getting blown out in the final week to the Bills to finish 7-9, and missing the playoffs once again.